Hello fellow hunters, welcome to the channel. As always, if you like what you see, maybe consider subscribing. Leave a comment below if you want to ask me anything about the game. For starters, this video will be all about the PvE element of the game. I will break down each enemy weakness and different efficient ways of taking them out. If you want to know how the XP system works for each AI, check the video attached above. I felt like watching this video, making this video because most of the other guys that I have seen do not efficiently address the topic properly, but maybe I will be able to do this game some justice as it is one of the most unique and brilliant games I have ever played. Let's get started. So first off we have the most basic AI which is the Grunts. The most common enemy found within the game. Some attack with their bare hands, some have knives, torches, poison saw which makes you bleed, burn or poison lightly at first but increases in intensity if they are able to hit you multiple times given the new intensity levels introduced in the 1.4 update of the game. They should not be a problem if they are few and far in between but they could do considerable damage if a bunch of them show up. That kinda depends upon your approach, how aggressive or how silent you are. Everything in this game revolves around sound. Now what to use against them? You can take them out pretty much with anything but since we are talking about efficient ways the most common and easy one is one hit with a knife or a duster to do the trick on the head. Crossbows are considerably good at taking them out as well silently whether it's small or the normal crossbow and you can actually retrieve the bolts. And you can retrieve the darts from them anyway. Any melee enhanced weapon but also one shot them that include any talon, mace or bayonet variants. Bombless and other melee weapons go without saying. Remember to always aim for the head. The next step we have the armor. Second most common enemy you may encounter are of two types now obviously normal armor which is basically grunt with enhanced armor. Don't wanna get into lore and stuff, bullets don't do much damage to it, yes you can take it out if you shoot it enough but ultimately not really worth it in the end. Even if you have shotgun it will simply knock them out and they will get back up and you have to shoot them multiple times so not really ideal to shoot them. You can easily take them out with 3 melee attacks from your knife or 4 to 5 attacks from your dusters. The most easy way to kill them is by fire but it is a bit loud. Using tools like flare or flare pistol will burn them instantly. You can actually achieve the same thing with lanterns lying around any compound. They are also one shot from any heavy melee weapons. I also suggest you aim for the head as it is the most effective. If you attack its leg it will slow it down to the point where it poses no threat. So it's really up to you. The armor charges up when it is attacking. Be sure to avoid that or it takes a hefty amount of your health. If you're not sure if you want to take knife or duster, consider the knuckle knife which serves the both purposes, but comes at a hefty price. The other one is Concentrina Armored. This one is very annoying as the name suggests. If you go close to melee, it will make you bleed and take out half your small health chunk each time you go close. They are weak against bullets, so if you don't care about giving your position away, you can take care of them with few bullets. Definitely shoot them if you encounter them during your PvP fight, the most effective weapon against them is also fire. Any lanterns or flare will do the trick. Well, I suggest you just simply try to stay away from them. And the third one we have the hives. As the name suggests, hives emit bees which do poison damage, which causes health damage plus disorientation, and it's enough to take you down if you don't take care of it on time. Fair to say, it's very annoying. The best method to take care of them silently is the throwing knives or a shot from a flare pistol or even flare. The lanterns work efficiently as well. If the hive does spot you and start to release the bees, you can go around evading the bees to kill it with knife or dusters aiming for the head, which just takes the one shot. Or you can simply go with knife or dusters head on and kill it before it does considerable damage. I recommend it since the new intensity of the poison damage introduced in the 1.4 update. The bugs poison duration don't last as long if it's, it's, if it's minor. Next up we have the emulators. They burst into flames setting everything around ablaze and leaving fire trail if you shoot it or use a weapon which causes bleeding damage like knife, crossbow or an axe or any melee weapon variant. It takes two shots to the head to take it down if you are gonna shoot it with any gun, just aim for the head twice. 
Gestures can take them down with 3 shots. Using melee of your large rifle should also take it down in 4 to 5 shots. But be sure if it's not a melee weapon variant except for mace variant, they can do and make them, you know, burst. Pistol does not do enough melee damage. They're also one shot with the hammer and axe but may burst into flame with the latter. If you do spot emulator, it's best to take them down as they are going to interfere with your PvP fights. They die after 30 seconds after bursting into flame so you can shoot it from a distance and wait long enough for it to die on its own. They can also be one shot using poison hand crossbow, poison bomb and choke bomb. Next up we have the hellhound. Nasty hounds that maul their targets causing extensive bleeding damage and be careful when you're fighting a pack. It's best to avoid them if you're alone, you can easily take them down using one shot to the head with knife except for one hound that has a helmet, which requires you to knock it two times on the body. Throwing knives are also great against them, the trick here is to wait for them to lunge at you, then evading the attack knife it on the head when it's howling or standing still. Lanterns can take them all out at once if thrown properly. If you are in a fight, I suggest you simply shoot them on the head. Next up we have the Water Devil. A swarm of a round worm-like creature that dwell in the waters. They move fast and kill fast, tearing their victim apart and causing bleeding damage. They reappear after 10 seconds even if you kill them. You can use throwing knife to kill them suddenly or shoot them, it's really up to you. You can always go around them to be honest, you don't really have to go in the water. They are the most annoying for me since your speed decreases significantly when going through the water, so I suggest avoiding areas with too much water. You are an easy target in the water just so you know. And the next up we have the Meathead, a headless and massive, almost bloated humanoid monster with leeches for hair. Stuff of nightmares to be honest, it's best to avoid them until you have taken them taken out all the enemy hunters because they are hard to kill. Yes, you can kill them easily with bombs and excessive shots. Maybe some 5 to 6 lanterns will do the job, incinerating the leeches as well. They can't attack you precisely if you're not poisoned and they will chase you if you get poisoned from any barrel, bomb, hive, leech, you name it. They carry different weapons, needless to say they do very high damage and are best left untouched until you have cleared the map. Then you can kill as many as you want if you want to farm XP. 1 hour is plenty of time in this game. I've made a short guard on the bosses which is a separate video from this which I will put in the description. If you want to see how much XP you get from killing all these AI monsters be sure to check my XP guide in which I go in detail about the XP system. That's all for today, thank you so much for watching.